I produce objects, installations and images using primarily handmade techniques. So everything that I do has a basis in craft. Where does craft begin and end? I mean, I think it's whatever you kind of want it to be, but I think there definitely has to be that connection to your hands, so a hand has to have been on it to create it. In the early 2000s, there was a huge craft and handmade revival, and that's kind of where my career kicked off. Every time there's a big wave of technological advance, there comes people looking for something to offset how tech or digital focused their worlds have become. And what's, what was the sort of highlight for you so far? I've created a DIY craft book, right. and it's coming out in October, so that was a completely different kind of project than I've ever worked on before mm. and it involved things like obviously writing but also designing projects and art directing the, the whole kind of concept of the book, right. working closely with a photographer and a book designer so it's just been a really kind of multifaceted awesome project to work How on. How exciting. It is very exciting. Are you looking at some of these emerging technologies and going, wow, there's real opportunity? Do you, do you see that? I see technology as a way to really enhance uh, my handmade aesthetic and my handmade style because I can use it to complement it and to elevate it to a level where it can um, become something new but still be based in craft. Imagine if I could create a world that someone could actually walk through mm. um, but it's all made from tactile handmade stuff. I mean I think oh, that, that would fun. really play with that line between yeah. like you can reach out and touch it because it's a super tactile actual object but then you can't like yeah I think that yeah, would be right. really cool. So I think technology is allowing more ways to facilitate people's creativity yeah. um, and make it easier for people. They don't feel intimidated, like, I've got to go paint a masterpiece. They can just play around on some kind of tool and create something real special. Yeah. But I think you're, what you're saying is overwhelmingly positive. You know, everybody is a creative. Yeah, everybody definitely. has the ability and indeed the tools have become far more accessible and that the sort of ability to play and be in flow is something that we should all be doing by the sounds of it. Yeah, I mean, some people just think that they can't because mm. they they're an accountant or whatever but everybody can and I think that's what I really love about teaching creative workshops is that people will come to my workshops because their friend dragged them along or something yeah. and then they'll just sit down and they'll just be like whoa I literally have not done crafts since I was in preschool or yeah. something like that and I, could, I don't think I could ever do it and they talk themselves down mm. and so sometimes my workshops become like little Oprah sessions where I'm like, no girl, you can do it. Like just trying to like build their confidence because they actually think that they can't make yeah. anything. Maybe well, that's like a self-help book I can write. Like, next. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> Craft as therapy. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic.